I think you'd see empty glens um, with holiday houses. Um, you know, no one's going to keep people on in their job if it's not financially viable. A grim forecast from a seasoned estate worker worried about the possible impact of a five-year strategy for land management and economic development within the Cairngorms National Park. The park's guardians say change is vital to address biodiversity loss and global warming. So that does give us a bigger targets for woodland creation and particularly for peatland restoration. And those areas do potentially set up some conflict with, with, with traditional land management in terms of grouse shooting and uh, deer management. And we need to sit down with those sectors and work through those conflicts and resolve them. More than 1,400 people have contributed to a public consultation. It is not far short, basically, of modern-day highland clearances, which would just do nothing but destroy these already kind of fragile communities. After years of differences with the Park Authority, estate workers have launched an online campaign highlighting fears about the loss of jobs, farmland, food security and Red List endangered species. You're going to see empty areas, loss of community in some of these upland areas, um, knock-on effect to local schools, the garage, the pub, the local shop, all these things are going to struggle. They may have some trade during the summer in the tourist season, but that doesn't sustain these things all year round like people living and working in the park. The anger is palpable and the fears are growing that a substantial number of jobs could ultimately be lost. The architects behind the latest park plan say that it's the modern world and its demands that are shaping the future. The world is changing, the way estates are being valued is changing, the whole issue of natural capital uh, which is a pretty new concept we weren't talking about much even 12 months ago, is, is making significant change to the way estates are valued and the way estates are managed. And again, that creates, change always creates uncertainty and insecurity. The Park Authority insists it's taken feedback on board and will incorporate that into its evolving master plan. The detail will be considered by Scottish Government ministers in June. Ian Ramage, STV News.